Hey all, Chris from Estuary Cleaning, cleaning windows of the Foul Coast. It is absolutely persisting it down once again. So, um, what have we been up to today? Well, you know, the show must go on, as they say. So we have done, we did two libraries this morning. We did a steelworks office um, inside and out today. And then around about 25 houses of varying sizes, so some bungalows, some fronts, some all rounds, one or two bits and bats, and then, uh, yeah, I've quoted uh, this afternoon as well, it's quite funny, when you quote um, uh, like a new sort of development, if you like, there's um, one of the customers, one of the people who's given a quote to today, uh, she's obviously having a lot of work done in her house, and I turn up, sort of thing, and immediately she goes into right well I want to level this and I want to take all these flags up and blah blah and I was just like yeah sorry love I've come to quote for window cleaning <laughs> and she was like oh right I'm sorry I've got so much going on so yeah I think you know mi you know, miscommunication on my part I think as well so <laughs> but yeah just made me chuckle a little bit <laughs> she's like yeah I, I don't do that <laughs> so yeah so I've got a um, question from Matt, who's in Plymouth. You right, me, Janner? Uh, and he's uh, he's asked about um, converting leads, etc. So if you're cleaning windows on a house, for example, and um, someone comes up to you and asks you for your number or a card, etc., how do you effectively? How do I convert that sort of lead, if you like? So you can ask them to. Uh, what I normally do is is I ask uh, a customer to text the number uh, on the leaflet and, and explain to them that it is my number that they'll be texting sort of thing so they're almost reassured that they'll be got back to in a, in a you know pretty quick turnaround kind of thing they won't just be left you know hanging on and there will be it's, it almost you know it means that you're expecting the the text message kind of thing if they text me I will action it and I will go through the routine of quoting a job and, uh, and all this sort of stuff, be that in person or over Google, etc., over the phone, quote phone, job over the phone or uh, by Google wrecking it or I can be there in person to have a, a quick look around um, and then basically give them a price and go from there, fantastic. Um, I do sometimes get where people, you're cleaning windows on a, a street and someone will come out and say, oh, can you fit me in today? I tend to turn these, you know, tell these people, yeah, well, we will, we can do, but you know, I'm not, I can't get you in today because I want to pre-qualify my jobs in advance. I want to know what I'm up against. Um, and the thing is, is you could say, yeah, yeah, I'll clean your windows, and then you fall into the trap of you, you turn up to the job and it's absolutely covered uh, from years of neglect kind of thing. So there's two ways around that. You can either snuggle in there and sort of say, yeah, I'll do it, but it'll be two or three times the normal rate to get you in um, because you know it depends on how difficult it is how bogging it is kind of thing the other alternative is to turn around and say right well I can't get you in today well if you text text this number give them a card if you text this number I'll I'll come round and I'll wash them I'll, uh, I'll give you I'll, I'll, we'll give you a quote and put you on the rotor and that's almost setting the standard then is that you expect them to go onto the rotor whereas you know some people may be expecting one-off jobs and again I did um, a video about one-off cleans um, you know last week I think it was so you know what I mean it, it's again you've got to you've got to price the jobs um, appropriately there's no sense in, in you know chasing your tail trying to get loads and loads of uh, one-off cleans in if ultimately you're um, you're jumping over pen, uh, pounds to get to pennies and it doesn't make sense so there's that um other than you know, quick sort of turnaround for jobs is, is being present, you know, uh, and basically, you know, um, dealing with the customer inquiry as it happens. So, if for argument's sake uh, they're expecting a quick quote, then don't take three or four weeks to get back to them. Um, I normally, if somebody asks, you know, sends me a text message, um, I reply on the day, you know, not necessarily within five minutes there and then depends what I'm doing if I'm on the job somewhere then that takes priority and I'll when I sit in the van and I'm having my lunch or something like that while I'm waiting for my lunch I might be replying to text messages or or, or, or emails etc and then that's 
giving you a quick turnaround because business owners, homeowners, nobody wants to be kept waiting. Um, it's a sad uh, part uh, of, of this reality that we live in at the minute where everything is instant gratification, all this sort of thing, you know, press a button, order, you know, ring, ring uh, Domino's, order a pizza, you know, um, you can order for anything online, delivered to your house the next day kind of thing, it's instant, we want it now. Um, and so if you're the, the guy that's converting quotes at a rapid rate and not, um, just turn the engine off, and not waiting for, you know, all of the, you're, you're not waiting to get back to a customer, you're not leaving them hanging. Um, because again, you take, you're adding to the equation the fact that there might be another window cleaner or another contractor that's you know bidding for that same job, and a lot of the time, um, I will have got um, I will have got um, a quote in before any of you know my so-called competitors can sort of put a bid in. And nine, nine times out of ten, if I'm honest, I think it's a case of you know the first guy that gets back to me. With a reasonable price, who adds value, who gives value for what for for the for the money, he gets the job. Um, so you've got to be that quick turnaround. As soon as an inquiry comes in, you, you're on it like a tramp on cold chips. You're all over it. So uh, another question that I've had um, recently from David, who's in Liverpool. Um, can you say? Chicken, <laughs> um, but yeah, no. I had, I had a, a good mate of mine who's a scout, so he used to take the mick out of his accent the whole time. Um, you know, he can say chicken. We can't. You know, how do you spell it? C a c h i e n. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Dave's question is related to uh, Facebook. Okay, so um, and sponsored ads and paid ads and all this sort of stuff. I'll be brutally honest with you. I don't tend to do Facebook ads. Okay, I tend to consistently, I try to, I don't always succeed, I try to put up, if I'm working on the tools every day, I'll try to put a picture once a day, a post once a day, telling people what I'm doing. Now on um, Android, I'm not entirely sure what the script is with iOS for the, all you high flying sort of, you know, Apple users, strange people. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the, what the script is with, with that side of it. But on Android, there is a Business Suite app which can link your um, your Instagram and Facebook into one app, if you like. So then when you post a picture um, on, for example, you post a picture on Instagram, there'll be, a, if you go you scroll down the screen, you'll see a little tick icon at the bottom and that will allow you to post it to your Facebook. But then what you need to do is you need to link your, your Facebook to your Instagram. And effectively then you're posting on two separate platforms uh, with one foul swoop, if you like. Um, now I'll do that. Uh, that's one side of it. Uh, another side of it is rather than focusing on paid ads, what I tend to do is I look at the local chat rooms. Okay. So you might, for example, where I live on the file coast... There's a number of postcodes and a number of different areas. So you've got Thornton, you've got Cleveleys, you've got Bispam, you have uh, Blackpool, you have you know, it's, you know all these different areas. And um, and so what happens is each of these areas, generally speaking, someone in that area will have set up a chat room. Um, that's certainly the case in my area, and I, I I saw that and I jumped straight on it. And I get a lot of referrals from this. I you know, it just. Uh, initially, it was a case of uh, in the early days, it was a case when I wasn't really that well known uh, as a window cleaner. Um, bearing in mind, I moved to Blackpool and didn't really know anybody other than my wife and her family. There was there was no one up here that I knew, um, so I had to effectively sort of start again. So it's a good little, um, a good way of, of telling if if you know something like this truly works. So basically, what I did was is I signed myself up, and it's free. It doesn't cost you a bean. Right, you sign yourself up to. Uh, so I've signed myself up to Thornton Cleveley's chat. I've signed up to Bispam chat. I've signed up to you know all these different chats on Facebook. Right, and basically what happens is, is initially in the early days, someone said, well, you know, uh, I, I would either advertise on the pages that permit you because some of these pages don't permit you to advertise. But then if someone asks for uh, a recommendation, 
you know what I mean? It's not advertised if someone asks for a recommendation. So then someone said, oh, Chris is a win oh, when you clean it, blah, blah, blah. He'll tag me and then I can do a direct message, quote over the phone, etc., etc. All that jazz. You can go to my business page or tag my business page. It'll go to that. And again, because I take pictures every day or try to, um, then what happens is I have pictures on my fa uh, business Facebook page. I have reviews on my business Facebook page. People can see examples of my work. They can see pictures of the you know brand you know the nice shiny van and all this sort of stuff oh it's a liveried van oh, isn't it, oh doesn't that look professional and it builds up that image if you like uh of the company now if you're an established window cleaner all i would do is just ask your customers to um you know if, if they wouldn't mind referring you on um if every time you uh, do a good job for a customer and they're really really happy you just ask them uh, very politely if they'll do either a google review if you have a google adword ad ad, ad, ad um, Google Ads AdWords account or if you have uh, a Facebook account or an Instagram account um, you can just basically ask them to leave a review on your business Facebook page winner winner chicken dinner um, and generally speaking when people search for these things on Google they're looking for the you know the company with the highest number of sort of five star reviews so you know what I mean if, if you've got a company which has got 31 five-star reviews and you've got, you know, um, and, you know, uh, and he's got pictures and all this sort of stuff. And you've got another one that's just a title that says, oh, uh, Joe Blogs Window Cleaning, um, no pictures, no website, you know what I mean? And maybe one five-star review, do the maths. Who's going to, who's going to win the, win the job? It's not going to be, sadly, it's not, it's less likely to be the guy that's not put the effort into his social media, put the effort into sort of, um, you know, networking etc so that's one side of it so i don't pay a bean right and in the early days i would just simply as soon as someone asked for a window cleaner i would simply just tag my business facebook uh, facebook page in uh, and then everybody on that thread can see that you know that i've tagged that tag and then people go oh you know and they look at that and they go oh is that good and then it builds up that profile so in all honesty dave i don't think you're going to need um facebook paid ads i have used them I have used them right because again i thought oh well i'm just going to spend 60 quid on facebook ads and blah blah and yeah all right fine it did yield some results but can i be brutally honest with you i don't think if i'm if, hand on heart i don't truthfully think you know for what we do it, it makes a vast amount of difference if i'm being brutally honest um i mean if you disagree you know comment you know comment in the comment section let me know your experiences i i have only a narrow sort of field of experience if you like with social media i came into the game pretty late to be honest with you um and instagram i've only had an instagram account for oh god it's less than 12 months i think something like that so again you know if you know, let me know your experiences let me know your thoughts do you think that you know paid ads on social media work um do you think it's better just to use the free stuff let me know so uh, again, once again, I hope that was useful and uh, yeah, see you all in the next video. All the very best.